Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon and Nostalgic Runner. And yeah, if you're wondering, I've changed my hairstyle again. Um, I have this going on right now because um, it's probably going to be the last week I have this in. And then we're going to just go probably natural for the remaining of the summer. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon and Nostalgic Runner. And um this is basically a continuation of kind of the recap of memorial day weekend and as you can see here let me actually give you a view so this is what i got from the soldier field 10 miler race i did earlier the one that i mentioned in um earlier on in the video and i'm gonna have it be one large video i believe or probably do part one part two not sure um but um where we left off at was the chan jackson concert so um after that uh the next day i just rode off from a drilling and was riding a high and continued on and so um mayversary um was the event i went to the next day so I didn't really do much other than just got some stuff around the house done, like start a couple loads of laundry and whatnot. This is now going to be a Sunday when all this is happening. And um, the group of friends who Ari was going to be hanging out with that Monday, they were like, hey, we're going to Mayversary, which is a festival, kind of like a brewery festival, um, because Chicago, if you're not someone who is familiar with Chicago land area or Chicago in general, we have a lot of breweries here, a ton of them. Um, so, and also too, May is kind of the beginning of festival season for Chicago. So if that's not your thing. There's a festival for anything and everything here. There's arts, there's art festivals. Like I think two years ago, I went to quite a few art festivals. Last year, I went to quite a few just neighborhood festivals. There's just, there's a reason to celebrate. <laughs> All throughout the city throughout the whole entire time frame of may to like september it's it's insane like you'll you'll find something to do so they're like hey mayversary let's go to this and so they and, and i got i went there and i got there and um i'll mention that day was about in the mid 70s so it wasn't too hot it wasn't too cold and um so had my nice little summer dress on zhuzh up the hair makeup um, and so then I decided, hey, I went there. Um, and also this festival, they had food trucks. So one of my food trucks, one of the food trucks I've been wanting to check out since I first uh, moved to Chicago. And they've been actually sending me constant emails about it. And honestly, ever since I went to Maine, so Google has been doing their Google thing that they do where they track your in interests and they know now. So Happy Lobster was a, is a food truck around here that I've been wanting to try because I wanted to have a good lobster roll or some type of variation of lobster roll. So I finally did get to check that out because they were there. Um, but there was also like four or five other food trucks besides them to check out. And then if you wanted to like have food through the brewery, you could have that too because they have like um, pretzels and like bratwurst there too. So options, right? Also, mind you, I probably should say this, ahead of time for those who know me know me because i don't think i made it known yet i'm actually so um the reason why festivals i think are going to be a little bit different for me this year is i decided probably mid february after basically the sedona and um vegas trip because i still felt the need to do that then i decided after that i'm just i'm still gonna eat healthy but I'm probably not going to be pescatarian anymore like that. So right now I'm in the phase of that where I'm still buying like a pescatarian, like at the grocery store. So what I cook at home, I'm not going to have meat here really. Um, other than maybe holidays or whatever for now. Um, I think I am going to switch it up um, after um, I do my 50 K. Um, but for the most part, I'm going to basically if I'm somewhere and I really want something, I'm going to just have it. Like I'm not going to restrict myself anymore when it comes to that, because I think I'm finally back in a healthier workout routine where that works for me. And also at the end of the day, I don't eat a lot of red meat or pork anyway. Like when I did first start becoming a pescatarian, 
I did eat a lot of pork. Like I, I ate a lot of bacon. Um, but now I really have no desire for pork in my life at all anymore. But the things I do miss have nothing to do with the things I restrict myself from. Like lamb, I miss lamb. Um, and of course, that's not gonna be something I have every day. So that's a non-issue as far as like overindulging. Um, duck, again, not something I'm gonna have every single day. And so therefore, overindulging, not an issue. So I kind of weigh the pros and cons of it all. And this is definitely a sidebar and just decided, you know what? I'm going to be kind of pescatarian, but kind of not. So I won't, for those who still want to respect my wishes of being pescatarian, cool, fine. I'll still do the vegetarian slash pescatarian lifestyle, but I'm also not going to restrict myself from something I really want to have and really want to try because I'm in a city. Um, Chicago, for those who aren't familiar, don't know. Besides it being a Midwest foodie town, it's one of the most foodiest cities in the country. If you're someone who just loves food and loves good food, everything is here. You, you got it all here because it's like a melt. This is like the melting pot of the Midwest. This is kind of like the New York City of the Midwest, if you will, because you have so many cultures coming together when it comes to food and all that. So I don't want to have to restrict myself anymore. So therefore, I'm not going to. Um, I figure as long as I'm on a healthy routine, and this mindset is together, I should be okay. <laughs> and um, when I did make the change, this was not all the way together. And now we're back good, right? Right. Okay, so back to the regularly scheduled program or the rest of this review of how the weekend went. So um, yeah, May Fest, I mean, May, um, Mayversary. Not to get confused with May Fest because that's a different event that the city has. <laughs> Because like I said, this is festival season, getting it started. So I overall, it was a good event, had a good time, hung out with friends, listened to some music because there was some live music there. Um, it was set up kind of um, by one of the L stops or not really by the L stops, but by the L train. So that part was kind of interesting because that's just where the breweries are located. So it was interesting because all of us being locals, we would like talk and then if the train was stopping by we would stop and then resume conversation that is just like some chicago-ish like it's just that's just what it is so but i would say overall that was a good time and somehow this is the part that i was floored by i still had all the energy i had the energies if i didn't wasn't like pretty much ripping and running for almost 24 hours straight the day before i i came and explain how this was happening um, so then after that, um, after I had some food and, you know, had some water on me too, I decided to do my usual stops. Um, cause I have two stops I go to on Sundays. It's just my routine. I'm not going to share that clearly, but I have two stops where I go to. And so I did my usual stops and then, and then head home and, you know, wind down and went to sleep. So then next day, AKA Monday, um, while well, everyone else in my friend group who were at the, who were at the May, Mayversary were like, ugh, I woke up like everything was fine. I was like, okay, another day. Okay, we're good. We're good. So I actually got to get more stuff done around the apartment. And I'll be honest, this is when I decided midway during that, I was like, I should probably take Tuesday off. Yeah, I'm going to take Tuesday off. So <laughs> I was kind of going back and forth on that because I really just wanted to have a day where I wasn't hanging out with people. <laughs> um, but we'll, we'll, we'll get through that. So then um, basically yesterday was or the day that day, um, Monday, Memorial Day. Uh, we basically by we me, <laughs> I had to basically get ready for beach day. Cause this was my event and I planned for us to do a beach day prior to knowing that there's other events that are gonna be happening. Um, so it was one of those things like, well, I can't back out of it now cause I already invited everyone to do this and I still really wanna go to the beach and whether they come with me or not, I'm gonna go to the beach. So that's, so basically for that, since it's my event, I felt very obligated to like, okay, let me make sure I get our drinks, um, get the cooler ready, 
Also get some snacks for us all. Whatever people need is there. Got my music, got my beach tent, because for those who don't know me, one of the main reasons why I love living here is because I'm a beach girl. And I didn't realize how much Lake Michigan is just awesome in the summer months. And it was a little chilly as far as Memorial Day. But sorry, I had to look. My, I heard my cat doing something, but she is fine. Um, so it was a little chilly for that, but I was like, okay, well, we're, I'm still gonna go. <laughs> so I got all the stuff ready, had to haul a ton of stuff because everyone else was meeting me there. So I was like, okay, they're meeting me there, it's my event. So my goal was I'm gonna get there earlier before everyone else gets there, get the tent set up, do all that. And one of my little small victories, I will say, cause I did get help like once I was closer to the beach, someone helped me with the cooler and helped me get it to where I needed to go. So it wasn't just me going, hoo, 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 hoo. the whole entire time I wasn't like that, it was cool. So, but once I got there, I set up the beach tent by myself. The fat, okay, so they, number one, I'm not a camper, okay? Even though I do a lot of trail running and running, I'm a glamper. I do all the camping shit during the day or camping stuff during the day and then go to a hotel or Airbnb at night because I like my bed, I like beds and not air mattress. I want a bed bed. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so therefore, Growing up, I never knew how to set a tent, but I finally figured it out. At my big grown age, finally figured it out. And I did it without help, because normally last year, because I got the tent last year with Sidebar, I got this tent last year, and every time I would go to the beach, someone else always intervened towards the end, because they just saw me struggle busting it. But this time, I got together and did it myself. And I wasn't struggling, like I just took my time, I was like, they're not gonna be here for probably another hour or so. That gives me time to get this set up and then relax and, you know, kick back. And so that's what happened. I did all that, set it up myself, and then I was ready to go. Cause in about time it was set up, the sun was out. And so it actually did get warmer finally. Not warm enough to get in that water though. Oh, no. <laughs> Those who are not from around here, you do not go in that water without a wetsuit until like August. Maybe July, and that's a maybe. This year, it probably will be July to be honest, because we didn't have a cold winter, so like the, the lake never did freeze over. Because that's part of what the issue is, that lake freezes over. So you don't want to go in the winter months. So you don't really want to go in that water. It doesn't start getting warm and warmer. <laughs> And warm is um, very subjective. Warm by Chicago standards, yes. Warm water, it never is that. <laughs> um, basically what we use Lake Michigan for, unless you are someone who is a triathlete, who has a wetsuit, who's training and stuff like that, I am, I, I do that. But like, if you're not one of those, no, don't go in that water. Um, you, we basically only go in that water or going like Michigan when it's so hot outside. So like upper 80s, 90s with the humidity, Chicago humidity, not swamp humidity. We don't have that here because um, we're not in really true swamp lands um, for obvious reasons, as opposed to up north. Okay. Um, anyway, but like it gets so hot that you go in Lake Michigan to cool down and you buy it, you wait for you. So basically we treat it like ice bath. There we go. That was, that's what I was going for. We treat Lake Michigan like an ice bath. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anyway, you basically just go to the beach to be cute and opulent and then like listen to music, play some volleyball if you're into that, or just, you know, chill. So anyway, I was at, so we went to the beach. It was a good time. We relaxed, we had a good time. And all of us were just like, ugh, dead. <laughs> and, um, and, and basically we were also recapping what we all ended up doing after we saw each other at Mayversary. And I think two out of three of us decided that we're not working on today or Tuesday. And that's why I was like, okay, as soon as I get home from this beach, I'm going directly to the work computer, check up on the emails, reply back to emails because, okay, 
If you don't know me, if, if you, you don't know, know your girl, girl, let me just tell you how I am. I'm type A and I have gotten better about being more type C. For those who aren't familiar, type A, type C is basically being type A with coping mechanisms to basically simmer it down <laughs> and be a little bit more on the even keel of things. So, um, and I've gotten better with that with age. I really have. And this year, especially with the first vacation, bring reset, I've been pretty much on that kind of path the whole entire year. That's actually been part of my many journeys of what I've been trying to do this year. Calm, calm myself down, make sure I get plenty of rest. Definitely still keep the exercise and health and all that in order. But I think for most of my years of being active and being an exercise person, I was forgetting about that rest part, which that's critical and helps you keep going. So I've gotten better about the rest part. I've been focusing more on the rest part, still getting the exercise in. I'm just not as intense about it. I literally am using it more for like, you know, staying in shape, staying active and all that good stuff. The focus this year for me has been being more working on this exercise. So anyway, um, where was I going with that? Oh, so <laughs> this, that's the reason why. So the reason why I had to mention that is I don't know how to completely just take off work. I'm not good at that. Um, and I also still, even when I did it yesterday, I have guilt when I just take time off, even though the PTO is to be used to my discretion and I have it for a reason. I still sometimes have guilt on just taking time off. And let me know if you guys feel like that. I don't know what it is. It's just something that I had to untrain myself at doing. And I've gotten way better about it, especially this year. So what I did to kind of make myself feel better a little bit is I checked all my emails because I was out Friday too. So it's like, I basically have made this a five day weekend instead of like a four day weekend or a three day weekend. This is a five day weekend for me. <laughs> so I decided, okay, let me double check, make sure I'm not missing any meetings. Cause that's another thing. If there was going to be some meetings on calendar today, I probably would have only taken a half day and that's the whole entire day. But then when I realized, oh, I have nothing going on. I could just move this meeting to the next day. That's what we're going to do. So I basically just did that and called it good. Cause I was like, I need today. And then I also messaged my whole entire team like, Hey, I'm taking today off too. And I put it, I updated my away message and all that good stuff. So I should be good to go for tomorrow. So anyway, I was glad that the beach day happened for that reason, because I just felt like I needed an extra day. Um, but yeah, the beach was good. Um, I had a, had someone there who I invited. Um, he showed up at the last minute. That was kind of odd. <laughs> and I will have to explain to some of my friends about it the next, next time I see them. Um, but yeah, anyway. Uh, so after the beach day ended, um, went home, relaxed, um, ordered myself a nice dinner because I did not feel like cooking at this point. Um, because one thing I am really good about me being type A, I also know how I am. So I cater a lot of things that I plan out and schedule based upon how I am as a person. So I give myself a lot of wiggle room whenever I meal prep. So I'm gonna probably end up meal prepping today, which is fine. Um, that's actually the reason why I wanted to take today off so I can actually do the things I normally do on a Sunday. Um, Cause I haven't <laughs> Sundayed at all. It's been Saturday, 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 Saturday. I feel like this whole entire holiday weekend has been Saturdays. I've been Saturdaying which basically means going out and whatnot. I've been just kind of doing that multiple days in a row, which overall, I'm glad I did that. And let's get to the bottom of it. Let's get to the point here. So the point is, this was a great holiday weekend. I enjoyed myself. I hung out with a lot of my friends and got to do a bucket list thing and also got to do a whole bunch of other new stuff as well as the thing that I enjoy the most about living here, which is going to the beach. I got to do all those things 
on the same weekend, which was awesome. But at the same time, your girl's exhausted, which is why we had to take today off <laughs> to, you know, simmer down now. <laughs> so, but anyway, um, overall a great holiday weekend, probably my better holiday weekends I've had. Um, I am looking forward to more <laughs> and, um, it was great. And I, if any of my friends see this video, thank you. It was a great weekend and I, I'm glad you guys contribute to that. And it was just, it was a good time. It was just chef's kiss. Anyway, um, if you ain't, so that pretty much concludes my little story time slash what all happened over the weekend. Um, please like, comment, subscribe to um, the content or um, to the channel. Wow, words. That's another thing I had struggles with this weekend words they're hard um but anyway please like comment subscribe to the channel to get anything out of content it's your girl sharon aka the melanin nostalgic runner and i will see you next time bye